I like Joe. Joe, what's up, big dog? Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, you know, uh, as a Cardinal fan, um, a lot of Cardinal fans uh, think the Cardinals should do more, and I think I'm guilty of that as well. But I saw this story this morning. Do you know the fourth highest paid player on the Cincinnati Reds payroll this year is Griffey, Kenny Griffey, Griffey Jr.? Yeah. <laughs> we all saw and the three, meme. <laughs> and, and, and so I thought about this. Like, so Joey Vidal makes $25 million and they're stuck with him. He, he can't even play. Moustakis makes 22. They want to get rid of him. And it's, I guess, a pitcher, Myers at six. And Griffey at three and a half. And I guess that I'm, and I, I thought about this. Like, so now there's two teams in the Cardinal division that, that aren't even trying, the Pirates and the Reds. And I, I just, you know, in that, that city, it's been a long time, but that used to be a really proud franchise. And I thought, can you imagine if you lived in Cincinnati and were a fan of that team, what you must think? So I guess, you know, we need trying to put things in perspective here. You know, it, the Cardinals probably get at 90 wins, 90 to 92 wins. I mean, there, there are towns that would just go nuts if they could do that. And, again, I, I think the Cardinals, yeah, probably should do more. But when, you, when I read stories like this, it just, make me, it just makes me think that, you know what, things really aren't that bad in St. Louis. There he is. Thanks. Yep. I agree with you on that, man. Sometimes you got to – you got to put everything in perspective, man, and look at what you got here. Even with the Blues, too. I mean, hell, this city, if you're a sports fan, geez, rocking and rolling, Charlie. To be fair, though, I don't think anybody's putting unrealistic expectations on the Cardinals. And I think it's a great thing that we shoot much better than for what the Reds shoot for each and every year. And I think the fan base, they love that the Cardinals are competitive every year. They love in it for the division the chance to win every year, 90 to 95 wins. I, I think they want to see, because they're used to World Series, that, that's the standard you want. And it has been a while. It's been now, what, 12 years? It's been 10 years since a World Series. I, I don't think people are saying you have to make the World Series every year. That's not realistic. But the Cardinals have gone a long time without a really deep, legitimate playoff run or a chance to really win the World Series. It has, it has been a decade. You can, if you want to say 2019, okay, they beat the Braves. They got swept by the Nationals. I don't think that team was really that close to winning at all. It has it has been about a decade. That's I think that's, I get that. I think he was just saying you know people complain a lot, and sometimes you have to sit back and look. We got if your good. team is always competitive, and it's been a while. They're going to want to go deeper. I get that. I think that's fair. Yeah, you have high expectations of your team in St. Louis, and that's a good thing. I think even the front office would acknowledge that's a good thing. What they did in Cincinnati is beyond is beyond awful. Not just not spending, but also kind of daring your fans to not. But why? The team. Why be that way? I, I think why they, be that way? I, first off, I think they, they found themselves in a situation. That, remember, they they went for it. They they spent a lot of money on veteran guys that couldn't play anymore, and it didn't work out. I think they were frustrated, and when the fans start chirping, you you have to understand that your fans are everything. And I think the owner got frustrated and was like, well, where else are you going to go? That's not the way you treat your fans. But why not spend – but they don't spend any money, do they? So they, they're, still, they're still taking a hit from spending all that money on those older players. They don't do – they haven't think, done anything I in 10 years. COVID, I think COVID hurt some teams more than, okay. than others. Look, I'm not excusing it because <clears> to me – I've I talked about this before. If I were – like, I'm glad they kept Votto, even though he's not good anymore – Fans like seeing him play. Like, if you have to rebuild, there's a way to do it while still giving your fans something to come to the ballpark for. There's a balance that you have to strike. And some teams don't care about striking that balance. They're like, okay, we're tanking, we're rebuilding, nothing to see here. That's not fan- fair to your fan base. It's also been a while since they've had a nice run. I mean, they won the World Series, what, in 1990? They had a nice, nice run with the uh, Dusty Baker, Brandon Phillips, Cueto teams. It's been a while since they've been. Now they tried. I think it was the COVID year they actually made the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken. But it was because of expanded playoffs. They had picked up Trevor Bauer, but then it was last off season. They unloaded everybody. I mean, I think they unloaded something like forty percent of their payroll. Yeah. Whether it's trades, not signing guys. How's that Trevor Bauer doing? What's is he in Japan? He went across seas. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he's playing there yet, but that's where he signed. You would have signed him, eh, Charlie? You said. I would have. I'm saying, look, I'm not a big Trevor Bauer fan, but the dude 
paid his penalty, and he wasn't charged criminally. I'm not saying he didn't do anything wrong. Major League Baseball suspended him for a long time, and then they had a third party come in, and they had an arbitrator who ruled on behalf of Trevor Bauer. So you, you play out the process. You don't have to love the guy. You don't have to love what he did or didn't do, but he is allowed to have a job. Chuck, you're, you're sounding too realistic about the Cardinals. You're going to get hurt, Cardinal simps feelings. Morning, men. With that guy mentioning the Ken Griffey Jr. story, got me wondering about the pool holes deferred money. Do the cards still owe him, Vic Onisa? What up, Vicky boy? I think everybody's deferring money now. Wayno deferred, I think, I think $10 million of his for this year. Uh, the offspring will be here August 27th. I'd see them. They got hit after hit after hit after hit. And even some of those albums they had later on, like the early 2000s, there's a ton of hits on them. Where at? I don't know. Hopefully, I would see hopefully them. Hopefully Enterprise Center. Or hopefully... Hollywood Casino Amphitheater? Yeah, but August... <sighs> Man, Charlie. If it's too hot... I missed out on so many cool concerts. Like, I wanted to see Slipknot, but it was literally 100 degrees. And I went and saw Dave Matthews, and it was 100 degrees, and I was <laughs> gosh dang miserable. It's not worth it. Even underneath the thing, it's just no... God. Nope. Uh, going to patios before the games way better than drinking at the park, dude. I like that patio. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a ball game this summer. Don't give me that look. Don't do it. We're gonna go to a ball game this summer. As a group, I don't know. I'm t- maybe speaking of Kate and I are gonna go to a ball game, and I'll well, be like, you hey, better. I'm going down. It's gonna be like a Saturday, two o'clock. Let's hit up patios. Let's get there early. We don't want the game to go by too fast for you, Charlie. I mean, you live in St. Louis, Missouri. To not go to no, at I least don't. a Cardinals I, game. I don't live in St. Louis, okay, Missouri. Okay, you live in the Well, let's get it started. You live facts in the, right. the TV market. Yeah. The St. Louis down Metropolitan in Branson, area. you still have some. Okay, yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah. If you guys could do a show on site for a Cardinal pregame, where would it be? Behind home plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, are you saying? I would want to do it somewhere in the stadium. Just like if you guys did a show for, for a Cardinal pregame. Patios. Yeah. Patios. Say Rankings. hey to the, I would Let's say hey to the people, Charlie. I wouldn't want to do it in the stadium. That way we could say, hey, look, it's uh, Arenado. Come on up come here. Come on up Nolan, here, buddy. And they'll be like, I'll take Central. Let me come on. <laughs> Super. Listen to you guys all the time. Kisner show, right? Mm-hmm. He's on You, today. come here. You, come here. Uh, oh, gosh. Hello, I love Hot Take Central. Monty says, Cam, make sure Hockey Bob, Bob drives you. Did I mention that he got into a car accident yesterday? Ooh. Is he all right? He's in the hospital. He said he, he, he put a post out. So I, I had a little comment and said, you know, he said some girl cut him off and flipped over and stuff like that. 